Welcome to Bits and Pieces in day 26 of my pantry challenge and no buy month. Very excited because I'm starting to see things actually disappearing. This is for a baked oatmeal, some canned peaches that I haven't figured out what to do with until now, some of my ribbon cane syrup, salt, nutmeg, and oats. I just did about three cups of oats, the can of peaches, liquid at all, a nutmeg and about two tablespoons of ribbon cane syrup, and then enough water to really have it look moist. Put it into a greased pan and stuck it in the fridge overnight. Next morning, I baked it at 350 for about 25 minutes, and it was a perfect breakfast. It wasn't super sweet. If you really want it sweeter, you can add more syrup or even drizzle some pancake syrup on top. Lunch was leftover um, chili again. This is the end of the chili and the end of the saltines. For dinner, I finally used up the last of that heavy cream I'd mixed up from the powder. So I just melted some butter and uh, added some olive oil, crushed red pepper, black pepper, and onion powder, because I had no onions. And after I cooked down a little bit, I added some fresh garlic. I think I did about three cloves of it and sauteed it a little bit. And then I poured in the heavy cream and the last of the particular carton of oat milk I had because it didn't seem like enough cream to really coat the pasta. I also cooked up the last of my spaghetti for this. I added some nutritional yeast and let that simmer for a bit. After the spaghetti was finished cooking in the salt water, I just scooped it uh, into the cream that had been simmering and then tossed it around and added a little bit of the pasta water until the pasta had finished cooking as I'd only cooked it like eight minutes prior to this. And then I added some of my breadcrumbs to give it a little texture and tossed it a little bit more. And this is the final pasta, which I sprinkled with a little nutritional yeast and called it done. I was also excited to find another bag of lettuce from my garden that um, didn't get given away. It was still in good condition. So I chopped up a radish and some carrot and found a bit of feta that I used about half of it on there and some of my balsamic glaze that made a really good salad. Once again, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Please like and subscribe if you're enjoying them.